All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I know you're here. You want to know how to charge your server on at a charging station, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. There's two parts that you need. You need a J connector, and then you're going to need a charger that goes up to 240 volts. All right, so this is the charger that I like to use. Um, it's a YZ Power 600. The 600 model is the 10 amp version, and then I believe the 450 model is the 5 amp version. Now, what I'm showing you is going to be for the stock Suron and a modified Suron. So obviously, I'm running a 72 volt Suron, but this will work for a 60 volt Suron. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to buy. I'm going to leave links in the description so you know to buy exactly what charger. The next thing you're going to need is a J connector, and this is actually called a J1772 connector. You can get these online. I'll put a link in the description for this also. This is basically going to trick the charging station and I think it's plugging into a car. And the other side of it goes to an outlet to allow you to plug in your charger. Once you get the two parts in, which are gonna take a while because they normally do come from China, you basically download this app. It's called uh, Charge Point. And you're gonna wanna come into the settings, into the filters, and you're gonna wanna go to your connections. And you're gonna wanna select only the J1772 connector. That's the only one that's gonna work. And then once you get that going, you're gonna notice on the map that it's gonna show you where they're at. So the closest one to me is technically this one. There's two of them there. And you can see if it's available for charging. This is City of Fresno. I click it. Once you're there, you can start to charge here or you could tap your phone on the screen. So I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna show you exactly how you connect all this stuff to make sure uh, you do it the correct way. All right, we should be here. Hopefully uh, the charging stations are all good. There's really no people. All right, so one of the first things I do when I get to a charging station is I get the adapter. I hook up the adapter already to the, the charger. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. Once you get that, before I even start the charge. Ooh. This thing's stuck on there. All right, let's go to the side of the one. I get everything out of my backpack and I like to plug in the adapter to the actual power source, but I do not plug this into the battery yet because you want the protection on the battery to be live first before you hook it up to your actual battery. So I hook it up to the charging port first. So once you're here, you don't really have to do anything. You just gotta pop it off. All right, so once you got that plugged in, I get out my phone, I go into the charge point app. I start the charge first because this charger will not pop on until it's actually charging. So I come to my phone, I go to the one that I'm on, which I should be on, I should be on this one. I hit start charger, and then if you come here, it will say that it's uh, ready to plug in. That means your charger's on. Get your little connector. And there you go, you're ready to go. My cable's a little short, but you can see that the red light is on, so it is charging. We're charging at 10 amps. And that's honestly all you have to do. It's pretty, pretty simple. And you can come over here and you can see how much power you're getting. It can even tell you on your phone too, but it's telling us how long it's gonna take, well, how long it's taking and the power and the kilowatts that we've got so far. It's not too bad. So I wanna go back to the house and I wanna show you the different sizes of chargers. I wanna show you the difference from this charger, the light speed charger, the Segway charger. And I wanna show, I wanna tell you which chargers will work if you do not plan on using this one. And if you do have a standard Suron, I know you're probably like, well, you haven't modified Suron, that's how you're getting it to work. And no, it works with the stock Suron. So trust me. You don't have to worry about it. You're all good to go. We're at 77.8 volts, 74%. A lot of people say that you might want to disconnect the breaker on the bike or disconnect these leads or just disconnect the battery in general from the bike. You don't have to do that. If you really want to do it, you can, but you really don't have to do that. I don't do it anyway. I feel like there's no point. You have a breaker on there for a reason. I'd be more worried about the charger messing up before anything. So far, we've got 0 0.0292 kilowatts per hour. We've been here for two and a half minutes. The first 30 seconds that we were here probably don't count um, because we didn't actually have it connected yet because I like to start the charge, like I said, plug in the charger and make sure the charger's on with all the safety features, the protection in there before you do anything. So we've got two cents 
that we paid for so far in about five minutes. It might be about three, three cents soon. But we got 0 0.0644 kilowatts an hour. We're charging at 0 0.8 kilowatts. And then if you just ever want to stop it, I believe you can stop it from here. This tells you all the information, what's going on. Um, but I go onto my phone. I feel like that's the easiest way. I just come here and I don't disconnect anything yet and I just come to stop. I hit the stop button, it contacts the station. As soon as it says stopped, then you can safely like disconnect this so you don't mess up your uh, charger. And pretty much just get everything back to go and get back on the road. Make sure that you do not forget your adapters. Make sure you double check because your adapter is still gonna be on the charge point. Make sure you get that because that adapter is about a hundred bucks. When we get back, I'll show you exactly where to buy it. All right, so we're back, and I know what you're probably thinking at the very beginning of this video when you saw the chargers. Man, that's a massive, heavy charger, and I wanna, get, I wanna give you guys some details on the charger itself. These are most of the chargers some of you guys run if you go to light speed. This is a little tiny 1.5 to 2 amp charger, light as hell, probably doesn't even weigh a pound. This is the big bad boy from light speed. It's 2 to 12 amps. Pretty massive and heavy. Um, it's not crazy heavy, but it weighs a few pounds. It's it's not light. It's closer to the 10 pound range, I believe. And uh, this one's decently heavy for what it is. It's a four amp charger. It's made for a 72 volt battery. Works with the Onyx, works with the Suron if you do 72 volt. But this thing, even though it's the same size as almost this, just not as long, this thing weighs probably the same as this. This is the four amp charger from Lightspeed. If you have that, then you'll know exactly how much this weighs. I actually put it on the scale. It weighs right under four pounds. So that is nothing to be carrying in your backpack. That's cool to me. Like I was hoping I wasn't gonna get a 10 amp charger that was like 10 pounds and it's not. The main thing I have to let you guys know and I can't stress this enough is that the main thing you need is a J connector, which the link is in the description. Just order that exact one. It will go to an outlet. You can basically plug anything you want into that outlet as long as it's 240 volts. When I leave the link in the description for the charger, you're gonna notice that it's gonna have a bunch of different options. So depending on where you're at, if you're in the USA, then you're gonna select US plug and checkout. And then if you're using XT60s, which my Suron uses, and I could show you right here, these are XT60 connectors. You take that little connector off, that's what that is. Now that's what Lightspeed has on theirs. The Suron, the stock Suron is gonna be different. So you're gonna wanna order that connector. You just have to make sure you get a US plug if you're United States and then get the connector that's made for your bike. So you can get one for the Onyx. You can get one for probably this one. But keep in mind though, you don't wanna go with a 10 amp charger on a bike like that. Maybe a two or three amp charger would be good. The Super 73, you probably won't wanna go any higher than five amps, I wouldn't push it. So just keep that in mind. So make sure you select yourself because that's gonna be on you because the link is gonna have a bunch of different options. There's not a page I've found that has exactly what you need. So just make sure you select the right ones. So that's how you do it guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace and love to all you guys. Hopefully you guys can now get farther on your Suron. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Later.